All right, what's up everyone? It's the seven man here. And today we are going to be playing version 0.36 P2 of the game Free Ride Mountain. This here is the new map, Hills. It's a lot flatter, obviously, as the name implies, than the mountain map, obviously. Uh, just gonna do a little exploring here on the, I believe this is the 3500 Lion now, basically the Lynx. In this update, they changed a couple things. I'll probably put the change log on the screen here. Um, but they, the skis now actually turn the sled a little bit, um, and they are for side hilling and carving. It does help using the skis a lot, It'll, or just, you know, small movements. They added the Polaris to, or the, the Pollux, that's what that's called, the Pollux to the Patreon tier two levels. I messed around a little bit on that, and then I was messing around on this, and I was just like, ah, I might as well record, why not, right? Exploring, messing around. This is a really cool map so far, at least from what I've discovered, which is like this side of the map and that's it. And just a little bit of it, not even all of it. Um, but there's a lot of, there's a nice big open space here for doing top speed runs or messing around. This thing isn't the most powerful sled and it likes to sink, but with how it feels pretty stable. And at least with how I play the game, that works well with me. I'm cruising about 120 right now. I don't know if that's miles an hour or Holy miles an hour or kilometers, but either way, I don't have a ton of hours in this game being completely honest. <laughs> I don't have a crazy good amount of experience, but I don't know. I find the game fun. Yeah, it is difficult at times, but that's what can make it fun. I'm assuming most of this map is just meant for messing around in trees and stuff, but I don't know. I do enjoy the tree stuff. It is, can be a little bit easier than hill climbs. It's a little more consistent, um, at least in my opinion and my experience. A little side hill going on. Oh. And see, like, stuff like that throws me off. I didn't still learn the game, as I said. But we'll figure it out. All right, there we go. Now we have controller overlay. Oh, it's in the perfect spot, too. But yeah, um, realized I didn't have controller overlay on. Now I got it on. But yeah, this, this game's a ton of fun. I like trees. Ooh. Nice little drop. Um, I definitely think that this group of developers, I think there's it's one or two. It's not many. It's a small game. It's still an alpha. Um, I think they're very good with the community, talking to them and stuff, letting them know what's going on. Hey, this is this update. Even though you aren't, say, in the Patreon, this is what was added. You guys will get it eventually. Like the players, for example, is tier two Patreon only. Um, your Patreons get it a week in advance. The updates, that is. And then it'll be released publicly a week later. It's This is definitely a fun game. And, you know, end of season coming here. It is March now, so. Yeah, it's... It's definitely a fun game. It's not easy. It's got its moments like that, for example. See if I can find let's find some cool trees. I don't know. Yeah, oh, hit that one. Mm, almost threaded it. But yeah, now that the skis actually do stuff and the physics are a little more refined, it's starting to feel real good. The one thing that still is weird to me, at least, though, is that your left stick does all of your character leaning, and your right stick is, well, bars and skis. I will include a lot of these ASMR moments for you guys where it's just a sled. Just because it, it, it does sound good. Even though, yeah, it is a game, it still sounds good. Ah, oh, now is the fun part. Trying to figure out how to turn around on this easily. Without getting stuck again. Oh, that wasn't bad. Usually it's worse than that. 
No. Okay. It is the one thing about this slide. I don't know if it's because the track length is short, it's the shortest pretty much out of all of them, but you gun it right as you're coming from a stop, you'll sink it. Oh, didn't that time. Usually you'll just sink straight down. Um, first person, at least in my opinion, much better. Feels a lot better. Um, you can actually see what the sled's doing. Um, and I, partially just because the rider model is still a circle. Like if you're going quick enough or you're on the right snow and the right lighting and stuff, like you can't see what what the model's doing. So it's easier just to be able to have all your interaction that you need from here. Oof. They don't have like belt heat or anything or engine heat, so you can just lay on it as long as you want. Don't have anything to worry about. It still sounds sick though when you're doing your normal lifts. I'm assuming that light events eventually like to have on the mountain map. Um, races basically actually you know what let's switch let's switch slides we'll go on to the polaris and head over to the mountains all right now that we're here we're on the polaris this model even they just keep getting better to be honest the models they look amazing you got your whole headlight there now too this thing definitely seems a lot shinier too uh but the one main different holy one of the big things that's different is it is the i believe the 155 so it does handle a little bit different than that 3500 does it's a little bit takes a little bit longer to get it leaned over and doesn't respond the same way but should still be good it's also got heck of a lot more power yeah you got those moments like that where you kind of just gotta flip out of it and hope it works Oof. Could not get that side hill going. Moments like that with the track, the sled just picks up off the ground slightly and how the in-air gyro physics work in this game, it, it'll it fight you pretty hard. I should not have done that. Dang it. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, cruising down this as fast as I can, trying not to hit trees is a lot of fun. <laughs> so if I'm ever bored in the game, I'll, you know, teleport up to the top and Ooh. Made it between those two trees? Okay. But yeah, to move, move the sled around in this game, it doesn't take a lot of input. Um, In the air, it can be a bit weird, which can cause your landings to be weird like that one was. When you get her moving and the, and the sled settles down a little bit, it is fun. Using the skis to stabilize the front end, whoops, you stabilize the front end a little bit helps. Like if you're wobbling a lot, you can kind of counter it for a bit and it, it'll stable out. Okay, here I'll show you what I mean by carving and this thing is difficult. It takes a lot to get it over compared to the 3500. And from a full stop, this thing won't sink itself either. You'll flip. I mean, obviously, if you end up in a situation where you're starting up, you're going to sink it. Or not. Okay. Skills. One of the cool things is they did anim add animations for throttle. Not brake, but throttle. Like, if you pay attention to it, it does move as I get more on and off the throttle. Sunk it? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, I'm stuck. You know what? Let's, let's hit one of the events. Where's the good hill climb? I did it on the Gen 4. I got a 3 minute 52 second. I think I definitely can do it quicker on this. But let's see. Ooh. Smoke that tree. Oh, the sled doesn't want to turn. Cool. And 
need you to turn there, buddy. Didn't make that. Just it's feels super delayed on the turning inputs. I don't know if that's how the new players is feeling in real life or what. Come on. No, I'm gonna have to reset. Turn. Goodness. Oh yeah, I absolutely destroyed my time. <laughs> Finish! Yeet! Holy! Oh, we're very sunk. Get out of it, though. See? Magic. It's cruising down. Holy. <laughs> he survived it. Oh, that felt good. Just cruising right now. <laughs> and I ended up right back facing. Oh. Yeah, so with the players, it definitely feels like you want you have to use a lot more skis compared to all the other ones, but uh, I could be wrong. I think I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.